Hi, I'm Rooney. Today I'm going to show you how to use the two and a half buckle to carry a newborn. Now here I've got the two and a half buckle in the Sleepy Dust print and just the first thing you need to do is you need to check you've got the width of the waistband on the narrowest setting. So if you're not sure what that is, if you look at the side here, you see you've got this three poppers going across. So you want to, if it's done up, you want to unpopper it, slide it across to the middle and do just the first popper up on the one closest to the center, like that. Okay, so you've got it nice and narrow. Then on the front of the panel, if you see here, we've got these two sets of webbing. You want to tighten them up so that this is at the shortest setting. So pull that through so it goes as tight as it will go on both sides. We can always adjust it longer if you've got a much taller newborn, but generally for a newborn, you'll need it on that shorter setting. So your panel then ends up looking like this. Now, for a newborn, you want to wear the waistband quite high. Um, obviously, it depends on how tall you are, but basically when you hold this against you, baby's bottom is going to be just over the edge. So their bottom will probably be around here. Okay, so line the carrier up so that it's measuring if you're holding your baby on your front, where their bottom will be. So for most women, it'll be just under their chest. Um, for men, it would be determined by how tall they are and obviously how big baby is. So I'm going to clip this around here by passing this around behind. And if you swivel it around for the front, it makes it easier to clip together and tighten up. Okay, so tighten that straight around and then swivel it back. And you want it to sit um, as tight as a belt. So it's snug, but not uncomfortable. Okay, and just check it's sitting level front to back. Okay, now I've got that clipped on, I can pick up my baby. So pick up your baby and give them a cuddle with their head on your upper chest. Okay, like this. Now, you know, I was just saying about the waistband. So can you see here, if I just move their baby's leg, I've got them slightly over the panel. Now what this means is it means you get a nice scoop of fabric when you bring it up. And it also means it won't go too high over their back. So I'm holding my doll in as much of a newborn position as I can get it into. Your baby will generally be sort of tucked up with their little knees tucked up above their bottom. So you slide your hand under the panel and just bring that up very gently over their bottom and back so you're holding them with the material. Now rest your hand against their shoulders because obviously their weight is taken here. Hold them across their shoulders and you're going to put one strap over one shoulder and the other strap over the other. Now you're going to keep one hand on baby and with the other you're going to reach round and take hold of the strap on the opposite side like that okay so your hands reaching across and grabbing the one that's going over the opposite shoulder now it's really important this bit you want to pull it straight down to lock the strap in place now the wider the strap is the tighter this part will go behind baby's neck so if your straps are really narrow in close to your shoulder like that this will be quite gapy so make sure when you pull it down you bring it so that it goes relatively wide on your shoulder obviously not so it's coming off but so it's fairly wide just so we get a nice snug line behind baby's head so I'm pulling it straight down here and then I'm going to bring it around to the opposite side. Now you can see here, there's quite a lot of fabric. Now for a newborn, I like to spread this nicely across like this, okay? Because what this does is it makes it feel really nice and cozy and snug. If you want to, you can just have it like a band and bring it across like that. It's totally up to you. But I generally find for a newborn, it's nicer to have it spread. So all I'm doing is keeping hold of baby and then just spreading this across like that. And they're going to hold that with the hand on the same side the fabric's coming through. So for me, it's my right hand. And they're going to do exactly the same with the other side. So I'm reaching around, grabbing the one on the opposite side and pulling it straight down to hold baby secure. And then I'm bringing it round and bring it quite high when you bring it round if you're going to be spreading the fabric out because otherwise you won't have any space for the fabric to spread out. So I've brought that round kind of near my armpit and spread that round. So you've got each piece held here. Now at this stage, just check you're happy that baby is held nice and secure by these straps. If you do need to tighten either of them, just take the strap you want to tighten, pull it out to one side and give a little tighten, okay? If you try and pull it from here, there's too many, too many corners so it won't tighten. So if you bring it out behind and tighten, it will move the strap. And you can do the same with the other if you need to. Give a little bounce. Okay, once you're happy that baby is nice and snug in here, you're going to cross these over on baby's bottom like this and then bring them under one foot like that hold under my armpit and that one under there 
okay? So you've got each piece going under each leg. So they're coming underneath your armpits, crossing over their bottom and going under the leg. You're then going to bring these round behind and tie them in a double knot. One and two. Now, the most important thing with any baby carrier is that you can see baby's face and they've got clear airways and you want to make sure they're held nice and snug so they can't slump. If you're not sure if they're tight enough, just rest your hand on the back of their head. Just very gently lean forward. Their body shouldn't pull away from you. Now, if you do find that baby's a little bit loose, take hold of the fabric underneath your armpits here and just gently give a little bounce and pull it forward. You can then feed any slack forward and around to the knot and undo and retie. But hopefully, if you've done it the way I've shown you, they should be nice and snug like this baby is here. So, want to check them nice and snug. The hands generally will be in this sort of position up on their chest, so I've got doll's hands like that here. You also want to check their legs are in a comfortable position. So, ideally, you want to have them with their bottom lower than knees in that kind of tucked up newborn position with knees at around hip width apart. Now, obviously, this is a doll, so it doesn't tend to bend in the same way as a newborn, but with a newborn, they can actually have their knees quite a lot more tucked in like this, depending on how big they are and approximately how old they are. So you've got them nicely tucked in with the bottom below knees and their feet coming straight down here. Then just have a quick feel of the fabric and check it's going nicely over their bottom, but not digging into their knees at all. So this here you can see it's just coming across and then going underneath, but there's no pressure on their knees or their legs. And they're quite nicely cocooned in there. Um, if you've found that this panel doesn't go quite up to their earlobe or nape of their neck, you can loosen it by adjusting these. So you can lift these up to make it taller. Like I said at the start, for most newborns, you'll find you'll need this on the shortest setting. But if you've got a baby with a very long torso, or if you're looking at this video for a baby who's slightly older, you may find you just need to lengthen it. So you'd literally just lift those up to lengthen it up. Obviously that will make the straps longer, so you'll then need to tighten them up. Um, but yeah, um, so you might be worth doing that before you've fully secured it. So that's how to use the two and a half buckle to carry a newborn. To take them out, you just reverse what you've done. So I'm going to reach around behind and just undo this knot and then keep hold of both pieces of fabric. I'm going to keep hold of them with one hand and then hold baby on the front. Then bring this one underneath, swap hands, bring this one underneath. So you're literally just sort of unwrapping them. Okay, keep hold of your baby at all times. Bring them back to the back like that. So they've un uncrossed. And then just carefully bring it off your shoulder, hold baby on the inside and bring the other one off. And then you can take them out. And that's how to use the two and a half buckles to carry a newborn.